Hey YouTube, this is Alexander and I'm back with another tech video. In this tech video I'm going to be showing you how to flash a Jelly Bam. This is a ROM that for the Nexus S and Nexus S 4G I believe. Links will be down below for the G apps as well as the ROM uh, based on Android 4.2.1 that also adds uh, some TouchWiz uh, theme typed elements to it. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and power your device off, or if you have this option since you're running another ROM, just reboot and recovery. Now you can do that by uh, turning your device off and then hitting the power and the uh, up button, the volume up uh, button, at the same time as you turn it back on, I believe. Now once you're in recovery, whether that be uh, Clockwork Mod or Twerp, uh, you're going to go ahead and whatever ROM you're on, you're going to hit the wipe data factory reset. And now I'm using the touch version, but this will pretty much apply to any version. You're going to wipe the data factory reset. After you've done the wipe data factory reset, you're going to go into install zip from SD card. Then you're going to choose zip and uh, you're just going to scroll down. Now, depending on where you download this, since I went straight to the link down below and download it onto my uh, Nexus S, it's going to be down here in the download folder. Now, if you uh, download it on your laptop or whatever, and you dragged it over to the root a directory of your SD uh, SD card or where the SD card would be uh, in the it's not going to be in any folders so it should be all the way down at the bottom so I just hit download now if I scroll down you can see I have two that's because the first one didn't download properly but uh, we'll go to the jelly bam 510 Crespo stable fixed dot zip and hit yes and install and I'll go ahead and install okay so once that's done uh, you're just gonna go ahead and go back and reboot system now now just keep in mind if you're coming from another ROM, which uh, most likely you are since you're watching this video, um, this, the first boot is going to take uh, the longest, so don't be alarmed or worried if it's taking quite a while. Now if it takes like 15 minutes, uh, you might want to try to pull the battery and put it back into recovery mode and uh, hopefully have a backup from the previous ROM that you were on and just restore that backup and then maybe try to reinstall this or just uh, skip this altogether. Okay, so here we are at the uh, welcome screen. Now that boot took about maybe a minute 30 to two minutes. Uh, so, I mean, not too long, but uh, maybe you can go get some coffee or something, come back. Okay, so after we're done with the uh, setup, it's gonna bring you to the uh, home screen, which uh, for me at first, I don't know if it just takes a while for everything to be loaded up, but I got this, uh, I guess, sort of error when I first booted up. It kind of left me to at this black screen, but everything else, you know, it still pretty much works. And by the way, I have to say this feels really fluid pulling this down, um, this notification, uh, you know, tray. It's really smooth and not to knock CM10 but uh, or CM, but it just it feels a lot smoother pulling this down than it does on Science Mod. Um, now you hit the home button to go home. And you have TouchWiz Home or Trebuchet Launcher. Uh, Trebuchet, pretty much a stock Android launcher. Uh, or TouchWiz, which is, as we all know and love or hate, TouchWiz. Now I'll just hit Trebuchet. And you'll see we're brought to, we're brought to the home screen. Now Jelly Bam has added a lot of uh, wallpapers, which are pretty nice. Uh, you have the Jelly Bam wallpaper there. You have a little astronaut drinking some juice or something there. And uh, Android in the back. You have some sun. So they have a lot of nice uh, wallpapers, and then they just have, uh, I believe, just the stock wallpapers. Uh, whoops, I guess I was scrolling too fast. Um, so we can go ahead and change wallpaper to the, this one. I like this one. Uh, I've been using it for maybe 15 minutes or so, and it seems to be pretty nice. I haven't played around with any settings yet, but if you guys want to see, uh, you know, like maybe a more in-depth review of this, go ahead and just leave uh, leave me a like down there. Maybe a comment if you have a question or something you want me to show you in uh, the review when I when I do it or uh, do a little bit more in-depth. Uh, don't forget to subscribe because I'll be having more of these as well as some more uh, iOS tweaks um, and stuff for uh, the iPod Touch. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.